Welcome to Enfocus Switch, version 2017. The following video is designed to highlight the new Switch web portal, available within this new major release. Prior to starting the Switch web portal, be sure to check the Switch preferences first within the Internal Communication category. If this is a new Switch 2017 installation, the job client type will be automatically set to default, while if this is an upgrade installation on a system that previously hosted an earlier version of Switch, this option will be set to Legacy. In short, the default setting is necessary to use the Switch web portal, while the Legacy setting will allow for connections from earlier versions of Switch client. Be sure to enable default job client type to access the Switch web portal. Current versions of Enfocus Connect will require the legacy setting. However, all future releases will use default. Select the Web Services category and ensure that the port value for the Switch Web Portal and Switch Web Service will not conflict with any local firewall rules. Lastly, go to the Switch Users panel and confirm that the necessary user or users have the appropriate access permissions so that they can view messages and submit and check jobs in the Switch web portal. Switch messages can be viewed and managed in a variety of ways. For example, columns can be filtered to show specific content related to the information type. Here, we'll limit the view to display only info type messages for the CMYK files flow. Remove an applied filter by clicking the X in the filter name within the messages header. Columns can be sorted by A to Z or Z to A, and the time column can be sorted by most recent or older messages first. In the table context menu, users can choose to wrap text for longer messages, disable or enable column headings, export messages to CSV files, or clear all switch messages from the switch messages database. Quickly and easily reorder column headings by simply dragging and dropping. To submit a job using the Switch web portal, add a submit point to the Switch canvas. For this example, we'll use a basic flow to illustrate the concept. If desired, add a custom image to the submit point which will be visible in the web portal. This icon is best displayed at 150 by 150 pixels. Set the Enter Metadata option to Yes and click the Metadata Fields option to glimpse at the variety of data that can be requested or required at the time of job submission. We'll start by adding a field for Customer Name, which is a simple single-line text data type, but in this case will be required. Next, we'll add a drop-down list, which includes four applications for an incoming job. We'll enter each application on a separate line within the multi-line text editor. It's now possible to create dependent options based on which application is selected. Do this by selecting the metadata field and clicking the Make Field Dependent button. Enable the parameters for the dependency. and even further dependencies can exist within parent choices. In this example, depending on which combination of application and materials are selected, we can go a step further and ask if grommets are necessary, depending on what the parent value equals. Entered values can also be validated against regular expressions. For example, an email field could mandate the presence of an at symbol.
Save and activate the flow. And now let's log into the Switch web portal. But first, return to the Switch Users panel to check that our user has access to the correct submit point. Here, I'll drag and drop to give the user access to all submit points. Locate the desired flow and corresponding submit point and select to submit either a job file or folder. Notice the fields from the earlier configuration, the required field, dependent fields, date, and job name, and the field that will expect an entry based on a regular expression. When uploading more than one file, users can choose to upload all files as a single job or as individual jobs. It's also possible to drag and drop content to submit jobs in the web portal interface. And through either method, notice the progress indicator in the lower left corner. Click to expose the overall progress of job submissions. Introduce a checkpoint into your flow to allow the Switch Web Portal users the ability to check and route jobs as needed. Like submit points, users will require access to checkpoints in the Users panel. As we extend this flow, take note of the Allow Multiple Outputs option in the Checkpoint Properties. Notice that further metadata can be requested from the Switch Web Portal user similar to the submit point. Unique to checkpoints, click the Add Fields from Submit Points button to reuse the selected fields that were identified in a submit point. Here, we'll pick up the email address and job name. Jobs will collect in a checkpoint requiring operator intervention before the job can progress in the flow. The web portal navigation area will reflect the amount of jobs waiting for attention. Jobs have already been submitted into our sample flow, and so these jobs are waiting in the web portal as you can see here. This information can be viewed in either a grid or table view. We'll process the following job, which is currently waiting in checkpoint 1, and configured to allow only a single output. Enter the extra metadata, choose the appropriate destination, and send the job on its way. The next job, waiting in checkpoint 2, allows for multiple outputs, requires no metadata, and so the behavior is slightly different when compared to the job in checkpoint 1. We can send this job into more than one direction. Users with a Switch Client module can also build custom client interfaces, as all client features are now available through a fully documented REST API. The API is built on best practices and is available on the Enfocus website for those interested in learning more or for those already well-versed in the API. Share your creations with Enfocus. We'd be very interested to see your custom projects. Thanks for watching. We hope that you enjoy working with the new Switch web portal in the latest release of Enfocus Switch, version 2017.